Med, a company operating in the medical business from over 10 years, has developed and realized a new line of disposable devices for urology, Urology Line. The main device around which the Urology Line has been developed is Urology Disposable Kit, also known as UDK. UDK is a product which mixes tradition and innovation in order to reach new quality standards in the urology field. It is possible to define UDK as a sterile disposable protective kit designed for the protection of optical systems employed in urology diagnostic. On one hand, it provides an absolute bacterial and viral barrier against microorganisms and prions. On the other hand, UDK protects the optical system from intense and continuous mechanical strains during its use. Furthermore, it functions as a guide for the employment of biopsic instruments. UDK is composed of two main elements, a surgical steel sheath and a polymeric sheath. What makes UDK unique? is the combination of both the steel and the polymeric sheets. Let's take a glance at all the UDK components. The outer steel sheath is a metallic cannula that thanks to its oval section and the rounded distal end reduces to the minimum the traumatism on the urethral mucus and facilitates the passage of the optical system through physiological curvatures. The link between the outer steel sheath and the optical device is made by the connector which is fixed at the top of the sheath itself. The connector has input and output taps for the cleaning liquid flow and linking systems for operative optical devices. Moreover, there are two locking wings placed on the connector which increase the stability of the device. There are two steel sheath versions available, with or without the presence of an operative channel. The operative channel version allows the use of instruments with a diameter of 4.5 charrier. The sterile disposable sheath and the shaft cover plus seems to be the real peculiarity of the kit, since it ensures the sterility of the whole system. The opportunity of customizing the sheath depending on the cystoscope typology employed, the view angle and the scope typology, Stort or Wolf, is a matter of great importance. A further peculiarity is given by the extensible coverage that safeguards from possible bacterial infections both the video camera and the optic fiber cable. Each outer steel sheath is equipped with a standard obturator for the insertion, a rounded distal end and ergonomic handle. This device functions as an obturator of the outer steel sheath, facilitating the device insertion and eliminating each kind of traumatism. Preparation and verification of the disposable outer steel sheath components. Verify that the standard obturator is correctly inserted inside the outer steel sheath and that spigots are in the closing position. After having connected the video camera and the optic fiber cable to the cystoscope, insert the sheath and the shaft cover plus on the scope up to connect a lock set on the proximal part of the optic and extend the accordion covering up to the maximum extension. The visit procedure is analogous with both typologies of outer steel sheath. The outer steel sheath is inserted inside the hollow with the standard obturator internally positioned. Subsequently, the standard obturator is replaced by the scope. At the end of the urology exam, if you have used UDK, it is not necessary to sterilize the endoscope and it is possible to proceed with a new urology exam. From a technical point of view, to use UDK does not involve any alteration at the procedure and the internal vision is of good quality. The device guarantees an increase in the number of visits that the doctor can make since it resets the long sterilization period, drastically diminishing waiting lists. Thanks to custom-made program, XMED SRL satisfies different needs by realizing customized solutions. UDK is available in the following versions. 17 Charia or 19 Charia, with or without operating channel. For stores or wolf connector. Moreover, it is possible to insert the infusion line for saline solution.
Many thanks to Dr. Massimo Cecchi from Versilia Hospital in Viareggio, the medical staff and the nurses 